The trials of HLN, the cable network rises and falls with criminal cases. How daytime anchor Kira Phillips plans to hold on to her audience when the verdict comes. This is Media Beat. Look, things change. Any moment they can handle it, we should pay attention to what we have to do. It's what's the we have to do. We evolve. Kira Phillips, thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here. So you spent 13 years at CNN, uh, which is about 50 in news years. <laughs> Uh, what it's made, miraculous, isn't right, it? Right, right. That's that is staying power. But that's what, right. What made you want to move to uh, HLN? It was the perfect opportunity for my life. I mean, I had been at CNN for more than a decade and covered wars and gone to the South Pole and been a part of every great election and news story. I mean, you name it. All these fabulous interviews. Um, but then I had this opportunity at HLN to do something that incorporated my journalistic background and experience and also the fact that I'm a new mom. I'm not a spring chicken, as you know. <laughs> You've known me for a very long time. <laughs> and, um, you know, being in my 40s and having twins and, and a husband, and my life is just so different, and I see things differently. And this was just a beautiful opportunity to combine those two things and still do what I love to do. HLN branded itself as the News and Views uh, Network. I love to give my view. You, yeah, <laughs> which is which is tough for some traditional anchor reporters because they feel sure. like they're in this box and they have to straight report and they can't be sharing their opinion or their views. How, how is that working for you? That's been one of the most beautiful things about coming to HLN is I can be me. I can be totally authentic. I actually find myself thinking, oh, wow. Can I say that? Will that be okay? And I have folks saying to me, yes, you can say that. You can do that. The fact that it is news and views, I get to give you the news, but I also get to put my personality into it. Yeah, how important do you think is an anchor's personality to the success of a show? Oh, I think it's huge. Think about what you watch on television. I think about what I watch on television. Do I like that person? Do I believe that person? Do I think that person's authentic? Do I like their style of communication? Do I like how they do an interview? I look at it differently now, now that I'm at HLN and I get to have more personality and be myself. I find myself looking at shows differently. Who are some of your favorite anchors, reporters? Who do you like to watch? Oh my gosh. Well, I, of course, that's funny that you ask that because I have sort of my guilty pleasures, right? And then I have um, your, the news programs that I never miss. I always watch 60 Minutes. We TiVo that, of course. I never miss um, CBS Sunday Morning. That's something we've always TiVoed. But Guilty Pleasures, I got to tell you, when I'm on the treadmill, I'm flipping through all those talk shows. I'm flipping through Anderson and Katie and Steve Harvey. And, you know, I want to get a taste for what these personalities are talking about and how they're doing it. And, um, and you know, I haven't found one that I just stay to, well, Ellen DeGeneres, I got to tell you, I, I TiVo her and I don't miss an hour of that ever. <laughs> yeah. Do you take away from those talk uh, hosts that you, that you mentioned and incorporate some of that in Raising America? Is that what you're trying to do with your show? Um, no, because I think we are, I think we're different from anything else in that nobody in the news at, at, at any of the news networks is doing something like this. We're a news program, but with the family in mind. I don't know if you heard about this, but Natalie Morales from NBC, she was at an event last week, and she gave a new name to HLN, Hysterical Ladies Network. <laughs> now, I think she's talking about Jane Velez Mitchell. Oh, Nancy she can't Grace, be talking crimes. about she's me. not talking about you, and certainly probably not Robin <laughs> Mead either. Um, but, you know, what, what Nancy and Jane and, and what, they've, what you've all done with Jody Arias' trial has certainly... Um, worked because you're the only network that's up year to date, up 10% in viewers. Our ratings are pretty amazing. Pretty sky high. Yeah. So what happens when there's a verdict? How are you going to take all of that goodwill and all those viewers who are there now and make sure they you stick around? You know what, that's such a great question and I'm so glad that you asked me that because this is what I so desperately want to get out to everyone who is watching now. We understand they want to see the Jody Arias trial. It's got all kinds of twists and turns and drama and you know it's like it, it, it's, it's wild what's happening. And we understand people are drawn to that. And I have an opportunity. I've got all these people watching right now. And I want to say to them, okay, I get it, I understand. You're interested in this. Okay, we can give you some of that. We can continue to give you that. But also give me a chance to show you another way that we do TV, another way that we do news. Not your typical boring, here's the expert, here's the story, here's the typical way the news is supposed to do the news, right? It's going to be smart, 
hopefully provocative, great conversation. We're always drawing in different people. Um, so I want those folks to stay. We'll still give you that, that sexy trial type of stuff that you want, but we're also going to tell you what's really important to you and your family.